Station to Station, a new relaxing strategy game launching today on the 3rd of October 2023. I say relaxing because you don't have a time limit when you play. So you don't have to worry about that, but it's definitely still a challenging strategy adventure. The goal is to connect production chains together, provide those resources to the cities by building railway connections between stations, despite the challenging terrain like mountain, lakes and many other things. So if you like trains, it's a no brainer, right? With every train in the game based on actual real historical train. But even if you don't like trains in general, don't dismiss it. We're talking about pure relaxing fun here. You actually have three game modes. First of all, the normal campaign that you can see over here with a lot of different missions. Each of those missions coming with specific challenges too. Then you have a second game mode, which is a free money sandbox. Basically, any of the mission, any of the game that you play, you can play them with free money, you know, with unlimited money for the ultimate chill experience. And last but not least, you can create an infinite number of custom maps for a lot of replayability. Or you can really choose a lot of different things, including the difficulty. As I'm sure you've already seen, the art style is voxel, which I know is not for everyone. But personally, I feel it works really well with the style of the game, you know, the relaxing aspect. Also, because if you really only want the strategic challenge of the game, you can play only in this bird eye view where the art style doesn't really matter much. The first few missions of the campaign are great tutorial, both to show you how to play the game, like including the controls. And by the way, speaking of controls, this game actually supports controllers if that's what you prefer to play with. But this tutorial obviously also explains to you all of the basic on how to play the game. But as you progress into the campaign, I can guarantee you that the game gets a lot more challenging, in particular if you try to get both of the challenges, you know, in each mission, there's always two challenges. If you try to get both of them in the same playthrough, that's getting harder. So we're talking about more than 20 hours of gameplay for sure. Personally, I've really enjoyed doing one mission per day when I need a bit of a break from the fast paced nature of most of the game these days. Also, when I don't have a lot of time, you know, for games like Anno 1800 or Satisfactory, usually you need at least like one or two hours to really dive into the game to play further. But obviously you don't always have that time. Sometimes you only have 20 minutes and you want to play something. And that's where Station to Station has been perfect for me. But enough talking, let me show you an actual mission before I share my conclusion of is it worth it? And let's actually play a mission I haven't played at all before, where we have two challenges. The first one is to finish with more than 1000 in the bank. And the second is to finish the entire level with a single large stack bonus. I'll explain what that means in a second. So here it is, we are on the map. It's actually a very small map. You know, most of the map will be way bigger than this. And interestingly, also on this map, we have already all of the buildings that have been placed. Usually on most of the maps, you're going to start with a couple of buildings. And then as you progress into the mission, they're going to add more buildings, more production, more cities. In this one, we already have everything. So we can see in the middle over here, we have a city that needs milk, cheese, fish and furniture. And then we have all of those productions around, right? I can see the milk, for example, over here from the dairy farm. I can see over here the fishing docks, etc. These two are very simple production chains because basically it produces the fish and you just deliver the fish. There are others that are a lot more complex. For example, the carpenter, it's going to make furniture out of planks. The planks are going to be made in the sawmill that needs the logs. So to make the furniture, you need to connect all three of those buildings. The basic of the game is you first place stations. For example, over here, let's place this first station next to the building. It is linked to the building thanks to this small arrow over here. I will obviously need another station somewhere over here, right? Or maybe on this side. Then we're going to need a station at some point also near the city, all those type of things. Now, if I connect the logging camp to the sawmill, I'm going to make a bit of money because I'm transforming the logs into planks. But if somehow I can connect all three of those buildings at once, then I'm going to make a lot more money. Basically, the more resources you connect with one railway, the more money you're going to make. In this case over here, it's not that hard. Basically, what you need to do is you need to connect the logging camp to the carpenter first. So this is not going to bring you any money because logs cannot help to make the furniture. But then you're going to connect this one or that one 
to the sawmill. And with that second connection that we're going to make over here, this will really connect everything, right? The log will be transformed into planks and the planks immediately into furniture. So we'll make more money. We will make even more if we would connect directly to the city. So basically what you want to do is connect this one to the city, this one to this one, and then finally the carpenter to the sawmill. And that's what this star challenge on this level is all about, is they're saying finish the entire level, meaning connect everything together with a single stack bonus, meaning we need to connect all of them at once. So let's try to do this. There's also different types of trains in the game, passenger trains that will transfer passengers between cities, freight for the resources, mixed trains that can do both, and you also have cards. Cards where you can have even better trains, for example the heavy freight trains over here will make me 50% more money, that's a great one. But also other cards like free tree removals or cheap rails, which is going to make the cost of a rail half the price. There's also similar cards for bridges and others. And obviously you need to be strategic with those cards, right? When should I play this cheap rails card, for example, right? Obviously I shouldn't play it on a very small rail like this one. Maybe more on this one that was quite a long one, right? And yeah, I think we're ready to finish this mission and hopefully gain both of these uh, challenges. Let me explain a bit what I've done and what we still need to do. So basically right now I have two railways that are not connected. There is the first one that starts over here. It starts with the log. It has a big bridge that connects to the city. Then it continues all the way over here. There's another bridge, right? Because we don't want to cross between those two. It connects to the carpenter. So this didn't bring me any money, right? Because log to carpenter, that doesn't do anything. And then this continues all the way up over here to this final station for the chisory. Again, this didn't bring anything so far. I've just been spending money and not gaining any money. And then we have a second railway, which is everything else. Right? We have over here the sawmill that needs the logs to make the planks. This is connected over here to the fishery and finally to the dairy milk. Now, when I'm going to connect both of these together, everything will be connected. Right? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to connect this over here. And as you can see, there's a lot of blue lines to show that everything is connected at once. So we're gonna build it, right? And we're also gonna use this heavy freight train card that I have to make even more money. Let's see how much we're gonna make. So I did get this one right away because I connected everything at once. And as you can see, making tons of money. Wow, and boom, I think we're gonna be above 1000, if I didn't mistake. Oh, we're just below the 1000 mark. So actually we didn't get this fun challenge, right? We need to have 1000, which basically mean I probably use my card of the cheap rails on the wrong one. You know, I should have used it. Maybe I didn't use it on that one and I should have used it on that one, which was very long, but almost, you know, we almost got both of these in one go. Only $4 that were missing. Again, this was a pretty small map, but you can get the gist hopefully of the game. So is it worth it? Well, before I tell you, I said in the title that I am in the game. So let me show you that. I'm not a liar. In the credits over here, you can see the great small team that created this game. Right? It's definitely not a AAA game uh, in terms of the size of the team. But now scrolling down, you can see the playtesters. And here it is, Gamer Consultant. Yours truly. So is it worth it? Well, first of all, it's launching for 18 dollars, 18 euros or 15 pounds. Then also your local equivalent. I don't know, depends on your currency. With also a 10% launch discount, if I'm not mistaken. So honestly, for me, that price is a good price. Right? Compared to many new games going for 60 to 80 dollars these days, even for not so great ones like the new settlers earlier this year, I think this one is worth it. It's not gonna be the game of the year. But you don't want to only play the game of the year, right? And in particular, as I said, sometimes you want a more relaxing, quick game. And that's station to station for you. Please tell me in the comments below your thoughts about this game. And also if you want to see more gameplay, you know, do you want to see every single mission? If there are specific missions that you don't know how to finish and you want me to show them to you? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Smash the like button and I hope to see you next time.